Hey, good morning. Uh, today, I just want to talk to you uh, quickly about Jeremiah 29, 11. And it says this, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They're plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. So God tells his people this, like when they are in the midst of being exiled to Babylon, and they're probably wondering, like, how is that even possible? Um, what a joke. God is telling us that he has good plans for us. And here we are in this in this foreign nation where we've been carried off and our um, our people have been killed and our city has been destroyed and the temple has been burned. And um, we're going to read in Daniel uh, this coming week that the elements, the, in, the, the parts of the temple on the inside that all of the people devoted all of their time and effort and energy toward, they too have been carted off to Babylon. And here's God and he's saying, look, I have good plans for you. And it may not seem like I have good plans for you, but I have good plans for you. I have a future for you and I have a hope for you. It kind of makes me think of, um, kind of makes me think of like a, like a tapestry, right? Like on one side you see, um, you just see all of, all of the strings and different colors and it doesn't make any sense as to what's going on. But when you, when you flip it around, you see, um, you see a beautiful image, you see a beautiful um, picture of whatever it is that the artist has put together. And there are times in our lives where we don't always, we don't always see the beautiful picture. We don't always see um, what God, um, what God, we don't always see the end product um, in our minds as we are being, as, as the tapestry of our lives is being woven together. But God knows exactly what he's doing. And what he wants us to do um, in, in the moments where we are, uh, where we're struggling, where we are suffering, where we don't understand, what God wants us to do is he wants us to trust that he has plans for us, that he knows the plans that he has for us. He knows that these plans are good. Um, they're not for disaster. Those plans are meant to give us a future and a hope. And what we are called to do in that moment is trust in the work that he is doing. Trust that he knows the picture that he is trying to create, that he knows the tapestry. He knows what he is weaving together in our lives, even when we don't. So my hope and my prayer for you today is that you would take that not just into consideration, but you would live in the hope and trust of what God is accomplishing in your life, what God is accomplishing in my life, what God is accomplishing in the life of our of our church at Westway Christian Church, uh, what God is accomplishing in the life of our community of Scotts Bluff and Gearing as we look for ways to work for the good of the city. So that's my prayer for, prayer for you today. Trust that God is putting together something amazing. Love you, praying with you, praying for you, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.